Hello everyone, this is Suzanne at God Crochet and Chatter. Welcome back. Today is Wednesday and Ron went and got a shot in his hip for his bursitis and we have to make an appointment for him to get the injection in his back. And we have another doctor's appointment tomorrow and I think we have two varying appointments next week. So that's interesting. We seem to be going to different doctors for different reasons, nothing serious, but just Loose ends that need to be tied up regarding her health. I am feeling pretty good. My diverticulitis has settled way down. It's a plus. Um, my shoulder's still hurting, but I do have an appointment to maybe get an injection in my shoulder. Maybe that will help that pain. But um, everything's good, and I'm back on track, and I'm not feeling too shabby. And today, it is freezing rain. Um, when we went out, it was um, sleeting little ice things and that was very slippery in fact um praise god we almost got in an accident i had a green light and a guy was coming from the opposite direction waiting to make his turn which he wasn't supposed to go i had the green light sure enough he went right in front of me and i just went oh and i put on the brakes and we avoided it so i'm very thankful for that today all right i'm going to do a devotional for you today and then I have a couple more hats I made. Oh, yes, I am cranking out these hats, and I am absolutely loving it. All right, let's get to our devotion. The weight of the weight. All of us have had to wait. And it does bring a weight of heaviness about us sometimes. When is this going to be over? When is this going to be finished? When is this going to be done? And... I know myself, with everything going on with Ron and I, we are taking one day at a time. Um, the days that we feel good, we're just praising the Lord. And the days that are a little bit tougher, we're praising the Lord. And we're waiting on the Lord, as difficult as that can be at times for us. Wait on the Lord. Be of good courage, and he shall strengthen your heart. Psalm 27, 14. For biblical heroes, God often unfolded slowly. Think of Abraham and Sarah waiting decades for a child. David waiting to ascend to the throne. Joseph spending his 20s in an Egyptian jail. Paul being in prison five years in Jerusalem, Caesarea, and Rome. Think of the man in John 5 who suffered an infirmity 38 years before Jesus healed him. I would say we're in pretty good company. These people waited a long time for God to move in their lives, but they kept the faith. When God shows us the way forward, we shouldn't hesitate a moment before proceeding. But when we don't have the opportunity or inner peace to move forward, we trust in God's timing. We wait while he works. Waiting time is not wasted time. We can't throw our hands up in despair and say, oh, just forget it or whatever. I'm done with this. No, waiting time is not wasted time at all. The Lord is working in our circumstances to align all the details to his will, not ours. He is working on us to develop patience, perseverance, character, and optimism. Where will we be without optimism? God works as we're waiting. So trust him in times of little observable progress. Isaiah 40, 31 says, But those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. In due time, he will give the victory. Turning point. Time is one of God's most effective tools for teaching us to rely on him. Charles Stanley. Now, I really like this devotional. All of us are waiting on one thing or another in our lives. And we just have to wait patiently on the Lord and know that the Lord is doing according to his will in our lives to bring us to where we need to be. And that's a great comfort to me. And if I have to die in pain, with pain following me to the grave, so be it. I have to believe there's a purpose in God's timing and a purpose why God allows some people to suffer. God don't want us to suffer. Maybe it's a testing of our faith. Um, sometimes it's hard to understand. But we can trust in God's word and what he says. He will never leave us. He will never forsake us. And everything he does is for our good. All right, everyone. I hope you've enjoyed that devotional day. 
If you're um, new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you, everyone, for your sweet comments. Um, if you could, everybody, press the thumbs up button. Um, if you can, leave just a short comment. I would certainly appreciate that. It gives me a feel for how many people are watching my channel. Um, that's always kind of a nice thing to know. All right, now, on to my hats. All right, the first hat, the yarn I used was this yarn V I showed you. This is Costa Maca. There's the yarn. Yarn B, soft and sleek. And this is the hat I made. Isn't that pretty? And these are reversible. So if we go this way, it looks like that. And then I'll hold up the brim. Get my tissue out of the way. So yeah, you get, that's the first look. And then turn it the other side out. There you go. Isn't it cool? And of course, I put my nice label on it. I got these, I think, by somebody on SD. Right there. Where is it? There it is. It says Suzanne's Designs. Adds a nice little touch to the hat. I did this one today. And I did this one. I'm going to haul out some more yarn and get another one started. Um, they go so quick. Oh my goodness. This one, I really like. Somebody has said that this yarn works very well in the machines. It worked fairly well. I was quite pleased with it. And this is Heart Lion Brand Heartland Tweed yarn. I use almost the entire ball. It's a four weight. And this color is Mount Rainier Tweed. I liked all those little flecks. I always stayed away from that because I thought, oh, those would like come out or something, but they don't. I mean, it really gives a nice accent. Accent. All right, here's the hat. Isn't that pretty? I really like that. Here's the crown. But yeah, they are so easy. And you can see they have a lot of stretch and they really look nice on. Let's see. Myself situated. Here's this one. It covers the ears. Fits nice up here. So here's this one. And it's, it's really soft. There's that one. And then this one. Find my label. There it is. Isn't that pretty? And these hats are warm. I wore my red and black variegated one out today. And uh, Ron wore his. And they were nice and warm. I did make Ron a rainbow hat. It's in the other room. So maybe I'll bring that out next time I show some more hats. Right now I'm just making bunches of hats. I'm um, going through all my yarn stash, and it's great to be using some of my yarn up. I've got so much yarn, and I feel very productive right now. Um, I still don't mind crocheting and hand knitting, but I can pop out these hats so quickly. And I am going to be making um, cowls and scarves. And it's just, I can utilize my yarn that I have very quickly. And that's what I want to do. I want to give some as happy gifts. I want to have a giveaway, give away a hat. I want to um, donate some maybe to the veterans or wounded warriors, some place to donate hats to and uh, perhaps make some to sell. But yeah, I'm loving doing this. I feel very productive. And I think when we feel productive when we're doing things and we can see the results more quickly, boy, that's just a win-win for me. There are a lot of chan channels that are doing it. Um, Cinnamon and Stitches, if you're familiar with her, she um, has an Addy machine. Um, I am working my way up to that machine. Um, it's a little bit better built, and it's kind of the queen of the machines. And I'm looking forward one day to getting that machine. And I want to do baby hats and um, this a mess of stuff. And uh, I'm sure I'll be showing everything I do to you. I hope that you enjoy me showcasing my hats for you. I just... Um, it's so easy to learn. 
if you can't knit or you can't crochet, tell you, think about one of these machines. There's all kind of great groups out there that will teach you how to start, to finish, to change color, all those neat things. It's not hard. It's not hard at all. All right, everyone, you take care. I'm having a fun day today. I hope you are too. I'll be back on tomorrow with another, um, our next installment of Revelation. I believe today, yeah, today is Wednesday. Oh, today's Wednesday. Today's Wednesday? Okay, I'm all messed up. Yesterday, I recorded today's video. Today, I'm recording tomorrow's video. So that's where I'm getting mixed up. So today is Thursday, actually. <laughs> I'm getting used to this filming ahead. Yesterday, I filmed today's and set it to, you know, come on at noon. I'm doing tomorrow's today, which I will set it to, to start tomorrow. Tomorrow, I will do Fridays. So I'm trying to keep ahead of it a little bit that way. So um, excuse me for getting a little bit mixed up there. All right, everyone, you have a blessed day in the Lord. Lord willing, I'll be back on tomorrow with another great video. Take care. Bye-bye.